In this video, we're going to look at using an aux track in Pro Tools with our 11 rack. Now here we are in Pro Tools and I already have some audio tracks and aux tracks set up. First, I want to explain the difference between an aux track and an audio track. Now, audio tracks is what you will usually use, what I usually suggest that you use in Pro Tools for your 11 rack. And as you should know, uh, in order to actually hear the input of the 11 rack, and here we have a mono track, and the input is 11 rig L, it could be 11 rig left or right, either one, because it's a mono track, we would have, in order to hear the input, we would have to either input monitor this track in Pro Tools 12.1 and higher, okay, or uh, record and able the track. So with the track record enabled, we get sound. If it's not record enabled or not input monitored, no sound. Now you'll notice that the meters on our aux track, they keep responding because we don't have to record and enable these tracks in order to get the input monitor uh, to get our sound from the 11 rack. That, uh, that's why I have both of these muted. And back to our audio track here, audio track two, which is our stereo audio track. Again, same thing applies. We would have to record enable or just input monitor if we just want to hear the input. Right? Now, it's usually a good idea to have either a stereo or mono audio tracks to play your guitar through. That way, whenever you're ready to record, you can simply go boom, hit that record enable button, and come out here to record and go ahead and record your uh, riff that you came up with. And usually you'll probably be using mono audio tracks whenever you're recording guitar, but you can also use stereo. I usually prefer mono because I like to double track, and double tracking is different than stereo, okay? But that's outside the scope of this video. So now let's move on to why we may want to use an aux track just to hear the input, the playback of our guitar. Now one thing to realize is we can't record to an aux track. So if your input on this track, which is 11 rig left right because it's the stereo aux track, and the input to our mono track is of course either 11 rig left or 11 rig right because it's a mono aux track. Okay, so we can't actually record to these tracks. All these tracks are good for is listening through. So that's one thing you need to realize. If you want to record, you have to use an audio track. You have to use an audio track to record. If you just want to listen, you just want the input monitor, you just want to play, noodle around, you can use an aux track. So I have a mono aux track and a stereo aux track set up. Again, it really doesn't matter which one you use, it's just whatever you prefer. So here is the mono aux track. Again, our input is 11 rig. L, so 11 rig left. And all, all I have to simply do is, let me unmute this. So nothing is, you know, we're not playing back, nothing is record enabled, and if I, I get my playback. Okay, same thing for our stereo track, which again, the input is 11 rig left right. So if it's unmuted, then the monitor is always active. Right? So that's pretty cool that we don't actually have to press any buttons to hear the sound of our 11 rack. And that, that may be something that interests you for whatever reason. Maybe you already have a bunch of tracks laid down already and you kind of just want to noodle over top of them. Maybe you just want to get a little practice and whatever the case may be, you can use an aux track for that input. So that is another option you have. So for example, here we have a drum track set up. And if I just wanted to play over this, you know, I could set up an audio track if I wanted and then record and enable that track, but maybe I just want to have that monitor going all the time, you know, just for whatever reason. And if uh, I just, I'll just start playback here. So you get the idea there. And as you notice, even when I stop playback there, we're still getting our input, we're still getting the sound. So that's just a little tip I wanted to throw out there to you guys, using an aux track instead of using an audio track. Again, if you want to actually record, you're going to have to use your audio track. Whenever it's on, it's one thing to realize is whenever your input here is set to your 11 rack, it's going to be on all the time. So you start hearing some weird noises in the background, even if, say, uh, you know, your jack is unplugged. You may start hearing weird noises if you're leaving that open all the time. So just be aware of how aux tracks 
work. So that's just one more option that you have to hear the input of your 11 rec by using an aux track and not having to input or record enable that track. It's pretty cool. Go check it out. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. See you all next time.